Lorraine was watching Neighbours with her sister. Lorraine had always wanted to visit Melbourne and the set of Neighbours. I love Neighbours! Lorraine told her sister Jacqueline of her wish. Jacqueline said that going to Australia was very, very expensive. That evening, when Lorraine went to bed, she was sad. She had never been abroad and was never an extravagant person. I guess I can go. There was a bad storm that night and Lorraine heard thunder and saw bolts of lightning. A loud crash and bang could be heard from the living room. Light filled the house completely. Then it all went quiet. What was that last sound? There appeared to be no damage to her flat, but from behind the sofa she witnessed bright dust rising up and as quick as it had risen, it dropped down again, leaving a light trace behind it. Lorraine checked behind her sofa. The dust was swirling and glowing. It looked beautiful. Lorraine picked up a small handful of the magical dust and placed it on her coffee table. Lorraine accidentally spilled a little of the pile over her mobile phone. The phone lit up and started rising up. Oh, that's amazing! Lorraine felt a connection and could control the movements with her mind. The phone moved up when she thought it and then moved to another room from the power of her mind. She was so excited to tell her sister about this. I cannot wait. Jacqueline was amazed with this. She couldn't believe what she was witnessing. Household objects floating around the rooms. She asked Lorraine what if this could be used on bigger objects, such as a car? What if it could fly to Melbourne? The sisters were very excited. Jacqueline told Lorraine, pack your bags, we are going to Australia. Lorraine threw some dust on the car. It lit up and sparkled. The car went up in the air and travelled very fast but smoothly. Bright lights and rainbows could be seen through the car windows as they moved at speed. They were amazed to have arrived at the Melbourne Hilton Hotel only 10 minutes later. Wow! After a very relaxing night, they purchased tickets for the neighbour's set. Attending that morning, Lorraine was in awe as she watched the actors. She harboured a secret desire to get a part in Neighbours. That was her dream. During the tour, the sisters saw the director. He looked very sad and upset. Lorraine overheard him saying that he missed his elderly mother back in the United States. She was very ill and he didn't know how long she had left. Lorraine introduced herself and explained to Bruce, the director, that she had heard the story and was very keen to do something. Lorraine told Bruce the story of the magic dust. Bruce couldn't believe that Jacqueline's small Vauxhall Corsa was going to travel thousands of miles across the ocean to San Francisco, California, but he was willing to try anything to see his sick mum. Bruce and Lorraine sat in the front and Jacqueline was in the back. The magic dust covered and lit up the car. Lorraine asked for a specific address and as before, the car moved smoothly at speed and was there in 10 minutes. Bruce was astonished that the car had arrived at his family home. Bruce got out of the car and proceeded directly to the house. The sisters waited and waited for a good couple of hours. Finally, Bruce emerged from the house. My mother is no longer in pain. She has passed with me by her side. The sisters expressed how sorry they were and left him to grieve. Bruce wanted to show his gratitude later in the year by inviting them back to the set as special guests. But he also wanted Lorraine to have a walk on party neighbours. This filled Lorraine with so much joy, excitement and anticipation. That's fantastic! Lorraine was also keen to help others like Bruce to promote peace, harmony and contentment throughout the world. Her adventures were just beginning. Peace and love to all.